grab your nuts and bark. Miss Ebony K. Williams. Uh, I wasn't even going to say nothing about this, about her. You know, she, she had this interview with Ian Lavenzant, and it went viral that she said that she would not want to date a bus driver. Hey, man, to each his own. Everybody's got a preference. I wasn't even going to address it. So this is a reaction video. I had to stop it because I wanted it fresh. And without further ado, we're going to start from this point, though. See, because this is making me pay more attention to her. And let's look at her reality right now versus what we know from the Jan La Van Zandt interview, Van Zant interview, that she said that she would not date a bus driver. So let's look at what she's decided to do. Turns out I now have a known donor. I went through California Cryo Bay. Fantastic experience, and at 18, my future child, God willing, will be able to know the name, identity, and last known location of the father. Can we get a motherfucking moment of silence? <laughs> Shout out Snoop Dogg. But what? I will not date a bus driver. I aspire for more. But let's hear what the fuck she said. Turns out I now have a known donor. I went through California crime. What donor? Bitch, be specific. What kind of donor? A kidney donor? Bitch, what donor? Okay. Fantastic experience. And at 18, my future child, God willing, will be... Okay. So, it's a sperm donor. Bitch. Huh. You don't want... An actual physical man, you just want what a man provides, which is his DNA, his very essence. And this is the problem that I have. That's why I was inspired to uh, react. Because <laughs> it's getting a reaction out of me, so I might as well share it with y'all. This is the problem. She's not a bad looking woman. She's aging, and she starting to hear the tumbleweeds blow. <laughs> Just said, I better freeze some eggs. In fact, let me uh, fertilize one before I freeze it. This bitch putting her baby in cryogenesis. Anyway, this is this is this is the modern woman for you though. This makes sense to her versus have somebody to say, "Hey, I give a fuck about you." Be able to know the name, identity, and last known location of their father. Her her child will not know who their father is until they're 18. And then even at 18, that's the beginning of the journey. Bitch, don't you know all the statistics? It's too late then, bitch. He's, he's going to be a prisoner. She going to be a prisoner in prison. Blah, blah, blah. I'm creating embryos. Embryos. Not a family. Embryos. Okay. Hence a request from a previous video. I'm going to take it back so that you that may have been like, why does he keep stopping it? Because we're trying to avoid copyright strikes, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take it back so you can hear the clip without it any breaks. But this is the woman who said, I will not date a bus driver, but I will date the man who owns the bus. Seems like no man wants to spend their time with her, period. See, she's disagreeable, obviously. She's an unlikable person, it appears. Turns out I now have a no I went through California Cryo Bay, fantastic experience, and at 18, my future child. Damn, California Cryo Bank. Oh, God willing, will be able to know the name, identity, and last known location of their father. Yeah. But you're also dating again, and I heard you're 
and the last known location of the father. I apologize, <laughs> but once again, we go, we gonna avoid a copyright strike. This bitch said the last known date and location, location and date of their father. So now he got to track down his father, bitch. You are so selfish. Shout out to the view. Fair use, fair use. Said, I know a really great guy for you. I really want you to meet him. I'm like, doctor, I'm kind of busy creating embryos and writing a book, but okay. A really great guy. She did introduce me. I think I might have been ghosted. <laughs> oh, no. I know. To the club. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. My, my, my DMs. And I'd ghost her too. You could tell by her voice. This bitch has a harsh voice. Anyways, they're going to go into, how can you get ghosted? And And she's ready to still date? What the fuck, bitch? Fuck with somebody and then he goes to you? Yeah, that's so cool. Who wow. goes to Ebony? Girl, thank you. All right, guys. And shout out to the black conservative. This is a good report. He did a good job editing. Go to him now. Okay, now this is the viral video. I was not going to read. I, I, was, I was just going to let it live, you know, because I felt like the interview was properly uh, representing both sides of the argument which is a fair and balanced discussion to me i didn't have anything to say because thank god ian levon zant thinks the way that she does but look how much older she is when she was ebony's age she was on that shit too let's just be real so i will not ask you to indict men in this question but i do want you to speak a young one too listen to that tone bitch could you live with that men could you this bitch first thing in the morning. Just, How women need to, uh, I don't know, position ourselves so that we can be in our divinity, so we can have our crowns right, how we can create and not build. When Shout out to the Grio, Ebony K. Weeps, and shout out to Byron Allen. Some of us, quite frankly, feel that the men that are available to us, and I'm talking about across the color spectrum, across the age spectrum, trust me, I've done them all, um, they are not positioned to protect nor provide because of some of the statistics we just talked about. Now, this is the most current argument. Since they've been checkmated, this is the one now. About. They're not earning the incomes. They're not having the resources. And some of them are not even showing up in the leadership. And uh, coming to a home near you, bitches. Unemployment. Y'all gonna not be able to provide for yourselves. Section 8's gone. Grocery stores are gone. Walmart's gone. Payless gone. Uh, mm-hmm. Would you date a bus driver? You think? If he owns the bus. If he owns the no. bus. Look at that face. See, this is the resting bitch face right here that we've all grown up with. We're all tired of this judgmental ass as if her feces doesn't stank. That's boo-boo for you uh, elemental folks. If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it, if he owns the bus, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a problem. Because the standard. Listen to the wisdom and listen to the love in her voice. There is a difference. I'm pausing so that you can hear it. There's a harshness in Ebony's voice and she's younger. And Iyana was there. Let's be real. Shit, she coming up after Iyana. Her generation did it. That's why she thinks the way she thinks. However, listen to the 
energy signature of the voices. Oh, no. That's a problem. What? That's you. What you think? If he owns the bus. If he owns no. it. If he owns the bus. See, that's, no. that's a problem. That's a problem. Because the standards and requisites, and I'm not talking about him laying on the sofa playing video games all day. It's never an extreme like that. I'm not talking about that. But the standards and the criteria that we use to measure men is off for who we are as women and who they are in this society. I would date a bus driver. Which is acknowledging racism and the uh, history in the on the planet, but more specifically in North America. Meanwhile, they deny it for us, but then they proclaim it for themselves. Look how black women have it so hard. It's racism. Look how we unprotected. Look, bitch. Anyway, you've all seen that. That was the viral part. We're going to skip past Lamont Hill. I just, I don't, I don't really dig him. Now, shout out once again to the black conservative. Go to his channels and support him. This is on YouTube, but I'm sure he's on Rumble and wherever else he's at. Support him. I like the way he thinks. A lot of y'all might think he's a lame, but come on, man. You got to hear things from different perspectives so that you can come up with your own opinion. Now, this next clip, this is the one that made me start it, okay? All right, because I ain't even see the, see her on the view because I don't watch TV like that. But then I saw the little viral clip, and then this clip is what made me do it. And here we go. So out of the 50,000 plus comments posted on social, I only saw a handful that even considered the possibility of a bus owner being a more aspirational position and recognizing that I am actually speaking and pouring into the ascension of black men. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, stop lying. Come on, man. That shit was so laughable. This bitch is capping now. She took a couple of days to try and think of a response that would try to make it seem like she's positive and not negative. It's ridiculous. None of you ever speak to inspire so-called black men. Bitch, stop it. Y'all speak to tear down. Shit. Bre depress a black man. This what the shit. I said what I said, but see, not bring into the ascension of black men when I said what I said. But see, no, some of y'all were too busy naming and shaming me personally and black women in general as undesirable. And we tell you why it's because of your attitudes. And this is insincere, insincere bullshit. We're just gonna call it. Look at the coldness in her eyes there is no warmth she's clearly reading from a teleprompter you got your speech together i feel you but come on come on look at the abortion rate what are you talking about y'all trying to act like you're loving people gold diggers and much worse now i suspect that some of y'all are the same men that were bringing home c's and d's on your report cards only to then be coddled by parents that said well that's okay as long as you're doing your best you said parents, bitch, be real. Parent, the mama, didn't give a fuck. That's why they were earning C's and D's. It wasn't because they didn't have the intellect. And then if anybody just does their research, they know that how melanin-rich young men are treated in schools that are conventional schools. They don't go to a private school or, you know, Nation of Islam or something like that, right? But this is what so-called black women keep doing they just argue to be right this is what so-called black women continue to do they care more about who's right rather than what's right see so she's arguing to be right versus saying what is right and what's right is, is that bitch many people that start off in the mail room end up running and or owning the company K 
character role, commitment to the character. 